Hey there, hi there, ho there. Name's Dick Dickerson, Richard for Long, Dick for Short. Here today to show you how to do a proper pre-inspection of your vehicle of a trailer tractor combination. Now, folks, you're probably saying to yourself, man, where's your notes for this? You know what? I feel so confident I could do it without one. You know, because one thing my father told me before I left this morning is that I was a mistake. I'm here to prove him wrong today. So let's go and get this video started. Alrighty then. We'll be demonstrating the front lights first. Headlights. Headlights. Clearance lights. Clearance lights. Right, right turn signal. Left turn signal. Left turn signal. Four way hazards. Four -way hazards. Bright. Bright. We'll now move to the rear of the truck. And if you are putting your head under a truck, be sure to watch your head. Okay? Tail lights. Brake lights. Four way hazards. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Okay, we'll now be going to the back trailer and cut tail lights clearance lights four ways left turn signal right turn signal brakes we'll now join him in the cab for nearly test and an in-cab inspection. Now I'm gonna go ahead and perform for you a safety start plus my first air leak test. I'm gonna make sure that my air pressure is below 90 PSI. Go ahead and do my safety start, push it in the clutch, make sure the truck's in neutral, both my brakes are set, start on the truck. Let off the clutch slowly. As I look on my dashboard, I saw that my ABS light came on and off. I'm looking at my air pressure gauges that they're properly moving and working. And I'm going to go ahead and build air pressure to the governed cutout between 120 and 140 psi. Now would be the time that you probably pop a joke off to your uh, tester or, you know sit here quietly and think about all the beautiful things you can do with your CDL once you get one. Like what? I don't know if I like that. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Lots of things go wrong. Well, that's why we're doing this. That's why we're doing proper pre-check. That's right. Okay. My government cut out was at 130 psi. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the truck off, but before so, we'll put it in gear. That way when I release my brakes, we don't roll forward. So it's in gear, both brakes are set, clutch is in, turn the key off, release the clutch, turn the key back on. Now what I'm going to do for my tractor trailer combination, I make sure I'm losing no more than 4 psi within one minute. So at this point, I'd get a timer out, press it for one minute. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to release both my trailer protection valve and my tractor protection valve and wait for my gauges to stabilize. Once you see them move a little bit. Okay, my gauges have stabilized. I'm going to go ahead and press down on the service brake. At this point, you would start your one minute. Now for this, for this take, we'll say that the one minute has ended, so therefore I release my brakes and we'll tell the tester that I lost no more than 4 psi within that one minute. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my low air warning device works properly by fanning the brakes and my low air warning device should activate before my air pressure reaches below 55 psi. Okay, my low air warning device activated at 70 PSI. So now I'm gonna go ahead 
and check to make sure that both my trailer protection valve and my tractor protection valve both close and pop out at approximately 40 PSI. So begin to fan the brakes. My tractor protection valve and my trailer protection valve popped out and closed at 30 psi. Now I'm going to go ahead and perform another safety start, confirming that both my brakes are set. The truck is now in neutral. Clutch is in. Start the truck. Once the truck started, I'm going to release the clutch slowly. Next thing, my tractor tra ABS light came on and off. Now I'm going to go ahead and look at my oil pressure gauge. Make sure that it is moving and going into operating range and my warning light is out. My water temperature gauge is properly moving into operating range and my warning light is out. My voltmeter on this truck is electronic so it's showing me that it's in proper operating range and charging and no warning light is visible. As we come into my dashboard indicators, I'm going to be checking that my left turn signal works. So it came on, went off, my right turn signal is on, goes off. My four-way hazards come on and come off, and I'm gonna check that my high beam indicator comes on and goes off. Next, we're gonna to move to your horns. So I have a city horn here, works. My air horn, works. Next, I'm gonna check my seat belt. Check for any cracks, frays, make sure it can properly adjust and it latches and secures properly. Next, I'm checking that it's secured and mounted to the cab with nuts and bolts. Next, I'm moving to my windshield and my windows. My windshield and windows are clean and clear. There's no illegal stickers, there's nothing obstructing my views, and they're not cracked or damaged. My windshield wipers are proper secured now with nuts and bolts. My arms aren't bent or damaged. My wiper blades are not frayed, cracked, damaged, or missing. My wiper blades operate smoothly, and my washer operates smoothly and discharges. Next, I'm moving on to my left mirror. It's adjusted to me. There's nothing obstructing my view. It's clean and clear with no illegal stickers. It's not cracked or damaged. My right mirror is adjusted to me. It's got no illegal stickers, nothing obstructing my view. It's clean and clear with no cracks or damage. Next, we're gonna go on to my heater and defroster. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my heat and go to my defrost. I'm gonna feel up front for the vent to be blowing hot air. Next, I'm gonna go to my vents Make sure that they're blowing hot air. Once that's done, go ahead and turn that off. Next, I'm checking my emergency equipment inside the cab. I'm gonna be checking that I have proper uh, fuses in the glove box. My three reflective triangles are clean and clear, properly affixed, and they're not damaged, bent, or missing, and properly secured to the cabin floor. Next, my fire extinguisher is properly secured and latched to the floor, and it's properly charged. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brake checks. So first, I will be testing my tractor protection and brake. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into low gear. I'm gonna release my trailer brakes, and I'm gonna pull against the tractor brakes to make sure that it can hold the tractor. Okay, which it can. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and set my trailer brakes, release my tractor brakes, and I'm gonna pull against the trailer to make sure that it can also hold the tractor. Which it can. Next, I'm going to release both brakes. I'm going to pull forward just slightly, testing the service brake. As I move forward and press onto the brake, I should feel that it doesn't fold to the left or to the right. Okay, I didn't feel any fold to the left or the right. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure that both my brakes are set. The truck is in neutral. And that concludes my in-cab inspection. I'm going to go ahead and turn the truck off now. I'm going to put the key in my pocket. Now, as I exit the vehicle, I'll make sure I maintain three points of contact while facing the cab. Oh, shit. Okay. Next thing you do when I come out of the cab to do my walk around, I'm checking underneath my engine transmission area for any puddles or active leaking. As I come around to the front of the truck, 
I'm checking that all of my lights are clean and clear. They're properly affixed to the right color for the location and they're not cracked or damaged. the engine compartment, checking my exhaust system from the turbo to the tip. I make sure that it's properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts. I'm making sure that all my clamps are properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts and they're not loose or missing. I'm checking along my exhaust system to make sure there's no cracks, holes, dents, bends, and that there's no black soot or any rust trails indicating that there is a leak. As I come along to the exhaust tip, clamps and nuts and bolts and making sure again that my clamps aren't loose or missing. Come back up to the front. I'm checking my coolant reservoir. Obviously you can see that it's clear so I can tell through the side that it's in a proper operating range. If it had a sight glass I would be able to see through the sight glass again if it was in proper operating range. If it were completely darkened out I would check through the radiator cap but only if the truck was off and cooled. I'd be able to open the cap and look inside to make sure that I have proper operating range. Next, I'm checking that my alternator, which is belt driven, is properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts. It's not damaged or missing or loose. There's no missing parts. I'm checking that my water pump below, which is also belt driven, is properly secured with nuts and bolts. It's not bent, damaged, or missing, and it's not leaking. I'm checking that all my hoses that are connected are properly secured and mounted through the couplers and that all my hoses don't have abrasions, bulges, or cuts and they're not leaking. Both my alternator and my water pump are properly operating. Next, I'm checking my belts that they're, prop they're, ev they're riding evenly on the pulleys. I would check for any frays that they're not ripped and they're not excessively worn. I'm checking deflection in the center of the belts and how I would check is to be able to bend it and have no more than a half inch to three quarters inch of play. Come around to the other side here. Next, I'll be checking the engine dipstick. What I would do is pull the dipstick out and I'd be able to see on the reading of the dipstick if it's proper operating range by it not being on the ad line and above the ad line. Next, I'm checking my air compressor that's properly secured mounted with nuts and bolts it's not damaged or missing or loose, no missing parts. It doesn't leak, it operates properly. I'm checking that all my hoses that are connected to it are properly secured and mounted with clamps or through the couplers and they're not missing, loose, or damaged. Checking all my hoses are, are have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. They're not leaking. I'm checking my power steering unit is properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts. It's not damaged or missing, it doesn't leak. I'm checking that all my hoses that are attached to it are properly secured and mounted. All my hoses have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and it's not leaking. Both my air compressor and my power steering unit operate properly. Next, I'm checking my power steering reservoir. Obviously, as you can see, it's clear. I can see through the side that it's in proper operating range. If it had a sight glass, I'd be able to see through the sight glass that it is also in operating range. Next, if it were completely darked out, I'd be able to check through the cap that had a dipstick on that it would be in proper operating range. I'm checking that it's not leaking. I'm checking all my hoses connected to it are properly secured and mounted with clips or with um, couplers and they're tight and secure. All my hoses have no abrasions, bolts, or cuts and it's not leaking. Next, I'm checking my power steering box that is properly mounted secure with nuts and bolts. It's not damaged or missing. It operates properly. And uh, all my hoses connecting to it are properly secured and mounted. And all my hoses do not have abrasions, bolts, or cuts and are also not leaking. Next, I'm checking my power steering from my power steering box to my wheel. I'm checking all my links, arms, and rods that they're properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts. They're not cracked, damaged, missing, or bent. I have no missing parts. I'm checking that my joints and sockets aren't damaged or missing. They're properly secured through my links and arms with castellated nuts and cotter keys. I'm checking that my shock absorber is properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts. It's not damaged or leaking. I'm checking that my spring mounts and hangers are properly secured mounted with nuts and bolts. And they're not cracked, bent, damaged, missing, or have any missing parts. I'm checking my bushings are properly secured and mounted and aren't damaged or missing. 
I'm checking my springs don't aren't shifted, cracked, bent, missing, or loose. I'm checking that my U-bolts are properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts and don't have miss, any missing parts and aren't uh, loose. I'm checking my hose to my hose, my air chamber that's properly secured and mounted through the couplers. It's not leaking any air. My hose don't have abrasions, bulls, or cuts, isn't leaking any air, and that my air hose can supply air to the air chamber. My air chamber is properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts. It's not bent or damaged. My air chamber clamps are properly secured with nuts and bolts. They're not loose or missing. My slack, my push rods and slack adjusters are properly secured and mounted. They're not bent, damaged, or missing, and no missing parts. And that I have no more than one inch of play if I were to pull with the brakes released. Next, I'm checking that my brake linings are properly secured and mounted. They're not worn excessively thin. They're not dangerously thin. And that there's no foreign contaminants such as oil or grease on them. My brake drums are properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts. They have no cracks, holes, or bends in them. And that there is no foreign debris such as oil or grease on them. Next, I'm checking my tire condition. I would check that my tread has even has even wear. I check there is no steel cord showing through. There's no abrasions, bulges, and cuts. And it's not leaking any air. Next, I would check my tire my tire depth to make sure that there is no less than four thirty seconds of tread depth left on my steer tire. My sidewalls have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. There's no steel cord showing through, and it's not leaking any air. My rims don't have any bends, cracks, or holes in them, and there's no illegal welds. I would check my lug nuts that are properly secured and mounted, they're not loose or missing. I would check there's no radiating cracks coming from the lug nut holes, nor is there any distortion in any of my lug nut holes. I would check for any rust trails. Uh, rust trails indicating they're loose. That's the word I was going for. See there folks, sometimes you're gonna have a brain fart. <laughs> now, remember when you're taking this test here, to slow down a little bit. You know, my videographer here thinks that I can just go as fast as I want because I don't have my paper here. But who knows, I could be fucking up royally. But you know what? <laughs> We're gonna leave that for you to decide. <laughs> Next, yeah. after my lug nuts, I'm checking my hub assembly and axle seals at the proper secured mount with nuts and bolts. They're not leaking any grease or oil. I would check through the sight glass on the side to make sure that it has proper operating range of oil. If not, I would check through the grommet here. Next, I'm checking my mirror brackets that they're properly secured with nuts and bolts. They're not damaged, loose, or missing. I have no missing, I have no loose fittings. I come around to my door and I open my door and make sure it opens and closes properly. I'm checking that my door seals are intact all the way around. I'm checking my door hinges are properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts. They're not cracked, damaged, or missing. So make sure that my door closes properly and latches. Next, I'm checking my fuel tank to make sure there's no cracks dents or any excessive leaking underneath creating any puddles. Next I'm checking that my fuel cap is properly secured and it is also not leaking. Next I'm checking my entry steps to make sure they're clear and solid, they're clear of any objects on the top and they're not damaged, loose or missing and properly secure mounted with nuts and bolts to the frame. Next my catwalk steps are properly secure mounted to the frame with nuts and bolts. They're clean, clear and solid, there's no obstructions on it and they're not damaged, cracked or missing. My catwalk is properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts. It's clean and clear and solid, and there's no foreign debris on it. Next, I'm checking all my lines behind my truck. I make sure they're not twisted, chaffed, spliced. I'm making sure that they're not crimped, pinched, or leaking any air. I'm checking that my electrical line doesn't have any cuts, frays, and it's not showing any metal braids. I would check to make sure that my electrical connector is connected to the truck and it's properly latched and seated and locked in place. I would check through to make sure that's connected to the trailer. It's latched, locked, and seated in place. And there's no damage. And I'm going to hold you there for a second because we also want to say that these are not cut, chafed, spliced, taped, or worn. My videographer was listening to me in my first part of my speech during this whole presentation. He would have heard that. <laughs> Next, I'm checking my air lines to my truck that the prop is secured and mounted to the couplers. They're not leaking any air and that there's no damage. As I come along, I'm listening for any active leaking. I go to my trailer 
I'm checking my glad hands are properly secured and mounted. They're locked in place, so they're latched. There's no damage, and they're not leaking any air. Next, I'm going to my drive shaft. My drive shaft is not cracked, bent, loose, or missing. I have my couplers that are properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts, and there's no foreign object in between them. Next, I'm checking my longitudinal frame to make sure it's not bent, cracked, damaged, and there's no um, illegal welds. I'm checking my cross members are properly secured now with nuts and bolts. They're not cracked, bent, damaged, or missing. I'm checking my rear suspension on my truck. I'm checking that my, my spring mounts and hangers are a like item to the front of the truck. My springs are a like item to the front of the truck. My bushings are a like item to the front of the truck. My U-bolts are a like item to the front of the truck. The only non-like item would be my torque arms. They're properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts. They're not cracked, bent, damaged, or missing. I'm checking that my air lines are a like item to the front of the truck. My air chambers are a like item to the front of the truck. My air chamber clamps are a like item to the front of the truck. My brake linings are a like item to the front of the truck. And my brake drums are a like item to the front of the truck. As we come around, I'm checking that my shock absorber is a like item to the front of the truck. My air right system is an automatic item. I'm checking my upper and lower mounts are properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts. They're not cracked, bent, damaged, or missing. My airbags have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking any air. My tires on the rear of my truck are dual tires. I have bud spacing, so I would check that I have even spacing all the way around. I'm checking that there's no foreign debris in between my tires. Next, I'm checking the condition of my tires, which are also a like item to my steer tires. The only difference is now my tread depth can be no less than 230 seconds. My sidewalls are a like item to my steer tires. My rims are a like item to my steer tires. My lug nuts are a like item to my steer tires. My valve cap stem. Okay, folks, I made a boo boo. I'm gonna go ahead and come back to the front of the truck and explain to you my valve stem and cap assembly. It's properly secured, it's not damaged or leaking any air. I would check the inflation of my tire with a proper tire gauge. Yep, rope, yep, 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 yep. Fast forward. My valve stem and cap assembly is a like item to the front of the truck. My tire inflation is a like item to my steer tires. My lug nuts are a like item to my steer tires. My flange axle is a non like item. I make sure it's properly secured now with nuts and bolts. So they're not loose, damaged, or missing. I'm checking that there's no oil or grease leaking. I would check the operating level through the center of the differential. Come around the back, I'm checking my splash guards. They're properly secured and mounted. They're not torn, ripped, or missing. I'm checking that my DOT reflective tape is clean and clear, properly affixed. I'm checking all my lights in the rear of the truck are clean, clear, not cracked or damaged. They're the right color for the location and they operate properly. I'm checking that I have two reflectors above my lights that are clean, clear, properly fixed, they're the right color for the location, which would be red. Next, I'm going to my fifth wheel assembly. I'm checking my fifth wheel mounts are properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts. They're not cracked, damaged, or missing. I'm checking that my platform is properly secured to my mounts with nuts and bolts. They're not cracked, bent, damaged, or missing. I'm checking that my fifth wheel skid plate is properly lubricated. It's secured and mounted to the platform with nuts and bolts and pins. My locking jaws are properly secured and enclosed around the kingpin. I'm checking that my kingpin has no bends or damage to it. As I come around front, I'm checking my release arm is in the enclosed position, and if it had a safety latch, it would be locked in place. I'm checking the front of my trailer that my DOT reflection tape is clean and clear, properly fixed. I'm checking that my Head wrap is properly secured and mounted. There's no busted welds. It's not bent or damaged, and it can secure a load. My trailer deck is clean, clear, and solid, and there is no damage to it. All of my lights on the side of my truck and trailer are clean and clear, properly fixed, they're the right color for their location, operate properly. I'm checking that my DOT reflective tape is a like item to the front of the trailer. Next, my landing gear is fully raised, is properly secured and mounted with nuts and bolts. It's not bent, cracked, damaged, or missing. My landing pads are properly secured and mounted. 
They're not cracked, damaged, or missing. My support arms are properly securely mounted with nuts and bolts. They're not cracked, bent, damaged, or missing. I'm checking that my crank handle is properly secured and stowed. They're not cracked, damaged, or missing. As I come along the trailer, I'm checking that my frame, my longitudinal frame, is a like item to the rear of the truck. My cross members are also a like item to the rear of the truck. Next, my trailer suspension. I'm checking my spring mounts and hangers that they're a like item to the rear of the truck. My springs are a like item to the rear of the truck. My U-bolts are a like item to the rear of the truck. My torque arms are a like item to the rear of the truck. My bushings are a like item to the rear of the truck. I'm checking that my airlines are a like item to the rear of the truck. My air chambers are a like item to the rear of the truck. My air chamber clamps are a like item to the rear of the truck. My brake linings are a like item to the rear of the truck. My brake drums are a like item to the rear of the truck. I'm checking that my dual tires are also a like item to the rear of the truck. My bud spacing is a like item to the rear of the truck. My tire condition is also a like item to my drive tires, which meaning that my tread depth can be no less than 230 seconds. My sidewalls are a like item to my drive tires. My rims are a like item to my drive axle. My lug nuts are a like item to my drive axle. My valve stem and cap assembly are a like item to my drive axle. My tire inflation is a like item to my drive axle. Now my hub assembly and axle seal is a like item to my steer axle. Next I'm checking that my splash guards are also a like item to the rear of the truck. I'm checking that my DOT reflective tape on the rear of the trailer is a like item to the side of the trailer. I'm checking that all my lights are clean and clear, properly fixed, operate properly, they're not cracked or damaged, and they're the right color for their location. Now folks, I may have missed things here and there, so don't beat on me too hard, okay? I did it from memory. How would you feel if somebody made fun of you? Nana and a boo-boo, stick your